morning, a local father and son are safe after being carjacked along the way home from a doctor's appointment. My son's in the car. I, I, we ain't going anywhere with my son in the car. I'll take you wherever you need to go, but just let him out. Matthew Taylor says a man with a gun forced them into their vehicle on Mason Avenue, Daytona Beach. And that's where West News Ricky Klaus is live this morning. So, Ricky, police say that this man had just held up an ice cream shop across the street. That's right, the one behind me here, the icy paradise. It all started there with a robbery, according to police. But an employee sounded a silent alarm. And once police arrived, they say that he ran the suspect over to this area. And a father and son were leaving a doctor's appointment. And that's when police say he carjacked them. I, I could hear him screaming, get in the car, get in the car. And when I see him with, with the gun slightly concealed, I knew we getting jacked. 15 year old Devin Taylor and his father were leaving a doctor's office when they were confronted by a crazed man who threatened to kill them. My son's in the car. I, I, we ain't going anywhere with my son in the car. I'll take you wherever you need to go, but just let him out. Taylor says once his son was out of the vehicle, he complied, driving west on Mason onto Vine Street until a police officer blocked their way. He threatened me that if it, I, I didn't go around him, uh, that he was going to shoot me. So I, I, I just took a risk and. <laughs> Uh, figured I could jump out before he could shoot me. Taylor stopped the car, pulled the emergency brake, jumped out, and ran. Bad guy gets behind the wheel of the car, heads down Vine Street, probably at speeds close to 100 miles an hour. Uh, before he gets to 8th and Vine, about a mile away, he loses control and he wraps himself around a tree. Police say Quato broke his neck in the crash. He's now in police custody at Halifax Hospital. The Taylors walked away without a scratch. I'll say this to him a million times. Thank you, sir. I love you, man. <laughs> and the suspect is charged with robbery as well as carjacking and two other lesser charges. For now, reporting live in Daytona Beach, Ricky Klaus, West 2 News.